telling you, it's insane. <laughs> But seriously, it is a completely fresh take on the classics. Wait, wait, are you still talking about your new car or the townhouse? Both. <laughs> Boy, do I love that car. The brand new BMW i7, fully electric. I mean, everything, it's just, um, there's like a movie theater in the back seat. It is such a fun ride. But you know me, what do I love just as much as a beautiful brand new car? A brand new building. Welcome to Late House Tribeca. Opportunities abound. It's currently three separate condo units that comprise of the entire building plus the parking space with its own curb cut. That is hard to find. So you could buy the entire building. It's over 11,100 square feet, the three units, the lower level, the parking spot, and you could convert it to a single family mansion. One of the biggest single family mansions with parking in all of Tribeca. Or you could live in the penthouse, which is an incredible 4,100 square foot triplex with amazing outdoor space on multiple levels. It's four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, tons of living space. And then you could rent out the full floor loft, two bedroom in the middle, and the triplex masonette downstairs, which is over 5,000 square feet and has five bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. Or you could have your family live in both of those, or you could combine the top two and just use the downstairs maybe for office because you've got the parking space here and people can come through. Also, there's a gym in this building, plus storage and so much more. Like I said, the opportunities abound. So let's go and take a look, come on. Let's start with the penthouse. Now it is hard to find a true penthouse in Tribeca that's also affordable in a way, that has the right bedroom count, that has a skylight, all of this outdoor space. I mean, just on our top level here, it's not even our top level because we have a home office upstairs plus the entire roof deck, but let's say on our kind of the heart of the home, level here. I've got this amazing terrace off the front of the house with these incredible lower Manhattan views. I mean, I'm looking at every major landmark downtown. And then I've got this massive, basically backyard. You can grill back there. I could put a hot tub back there, kiddie pool, maybe do a little like putt putt back there. Or I could do that on my roof. There are so many options here. The kitchen is gorgeous. Look at the thickness of this slab. Look at the stone top of the line appliances really built for a chef. And what I love about it is it's so open, got a great bar there, great for kids, cereal in the mornings, all of that. But it's also kind of sectioned off in and of itself. You've got nano doors behind us that totally open. So you have that great juxtaposition between indoor and outdoor living. But if you wanted to just cater and have your whole, well, I guess you have a catering station here too. This penthouse has everything. You can cater, you have your events, people are upstairs, people are downstairs. I have so much to show you, let's keep walking. Now you can't have a penthouse without having a double height atrium. I mean, imagine your own chandelier that was hanging from the ceiling all the way to the ground. I once sold a house in Los Angeles that had all of these crystals in the double height space like this. It's very, very sexy and provides that amazing wow moment right after you step off the elevator here. And remember the elevator hits every floor. So if you wanna send people just here or if you just wanna step off the elevator right there and go right into your bedroom and crash because you had a great night out at Nobu, you can do that too. I've got a big open living space here. I've got space to have my, my gas fireplace if I wanted to, living, extra dining if you want it. But then come see these views on the front terrace. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I mean, look at this. Look at these views. Look at this outdoor space. The parapet wall is really, really high. So it's very, very safe. Like you're very secure right here. You can hang out. You can have these doors open all the time. You're looking up out over your landscaped roof deck. I mean, this is penthouse on penthouse on penthouse. Now, if you're to convert the whole building to a single family because you want to buy the whole building, maybe this is your penthouse suite. Maybe this is your primary suite up here and your bedroom is right here. There's so many different possibilities. Downstairs, we have three additional bedrooms in this penthouse. Upstairs, we have our home office space, the roof deck, which I'm going to show you now. And then in the total offering, you have an additional apartment downstairs for just this penthouse. So if you just wanted to buy the penthouse, you get this lower level bedroom that you can use for an in-law or for a home office. And that's included in what we're offering here. But let me show you the roof. I mean, look at this. Whether you're buying this to renovate your own amazing townhouse, this is your roof deck. Look at these views, they're protected of lower Manhattan. Or if you just buy the penthouse, this is your roof. Or if it's an investment property. Like this is an incredible space, it is so hard to find. Plus the parking, plus the 25 feet in width. And then two, I don't know if you watch Billions on Showtime, but that's Bobby Axelrod's penthouse right up there. Just say it. Right off your keyed elevator, you step into your masonette loft. So this apartment makes up the lower three levels of the building, 5,200 square feet, a little bit more actually. Five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and it is your own townhouse within a townhouse. Right, because it is 25 feet wide. I mean, look at the stone, look at the finishes, look at these beam ceilings. I mean, they're vaulted. That's how I look at them. Lots and lots of living space, huge, huge, I mean, enlarged kitchen, beautiful island, so much space. It is so quiet. You also have your own outdoor space here as well. The lower level to this also has a courtyard with a basketball hoop. So if you like basketball, you're good to go. You've got additional bedrooms downstairs, plus home office place. One of the rooms downstairs is even its own little kind of movie theater. There's a lot of opportunities just even in this unit. So if you're looking for that space, if you're looking for over 5,000 square feet, this is the unit for you. Now above us and then below the penthouse is a full floor loft. It's a two bedroom plus home office, two bathroom, 2,073 square foot loft. Key to elevator access, same everything. You have a gym downstairs, you have storage, cold storage, package room. The lobby is beautiful with the classic Tribeca exposed brick and that is late house Tribeca. You could buy the entire building and do what you want with it, plus have your parking. You could buy one of the individual apartments or two of them. I have never seen an opportunity like this before in New York City, especially in Tribeca, especially on Late Street, a cobblestone street that is full of celebrities, by the way. We were filming outside. They're all like, don't look at me, don't, but they want to be seen. You know, it's a whole thing. And then you have these views. But I think I left my brand new i7 downstairs. Let's go back to the car. And that is Late House Tribeca, located at 46 Late in the heart of Tribeca, in the most exciting neighborhood in New York City. I've never actually seen an offering like this, where you can buy the entire building 25 feet wide, over 11,000 square feet, investment opportunities, single family conversion opportunities, plus the parking, plus everything else. Thank you to BMW. I'm gonna take my i7 here on to my next appointment, and I will see you soon.
You ready? 